Hi everyone, this is just a very quick tutorial for Alina. She left a comment on a previous video asking me if I had a tutorial on how to layer vinyl using Canvas Workspace. I'll put a link to the video at the end of this video which shows you how I layered up the project but this particular video is going to show you how to create the file and there are two ways to do it and I'm going to show you both in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm using Canvas Workspace for computer, but this will work in the Canvas Workspace online version as well. And I'm going to be using one of the Canvas fonts. So I'm going to come over to the text icon and select that. And I'm going to left click on the page to get the text box. I'm going to start off with a letter E, which is what I used in the video that Alina was referring to. So I've just typed a capital letter E and I'm going to hit return on the keyboard. I'm going to drag this out. I'm not making it any particular size. This is just for the video. So this is the E and the font is called Brussels. And as I said, this is a Canvas Workspace font. So you can do this online or in the downloadable version. So here's my letter E. Now, I'm just going to choose the fill icon at the top and I'm going to fill it with black. You don't have to do this to make this pr um, process work. I'm just doing it in the hope that you'll be able to see it better on the screen and get a better understanding of what I'm trying to show you. Okay, so I've got a letter E, so that's the first thing. I'm on the edit icon. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to come to offset. And this brings up the offset box. You play around with the spacing. For this particular project, I'm going to use 0.16 outward. And the corner type I'm going to use as bevel because it's got angular corners. I'm going to say leave the original line as it is. And I'm going to make sure that create an offset line only around the outer edge is unticked. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to show you with another letter in a minute where it would have holes in the middle. OK, so they're the settings. So I'm going to say OK. Now it's put my offset on top. So again, if I go up to the fill and if I fill it with pink just so that you can see it. So here is my offset and here's my original E. So I'll just undo to get that back on top. Now. Like I said, there are two ways to do this. When I created the 3D frame, I layered up the vinyl just one on top of the other because it was going in a frame and it didn't matter to me whether there was any bulk or not. But I'm going to also show you how to do this where you can get rid of the bulk. So if it's going on, you know, clothing or a bag and you don't want two layers of vinyl, I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select this big offset letter E. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come down to arrange and center back. So now you can see that my original E is on top and my offset is behind. And that is how I did the 3D frame. You can also see here that there's a bit of a cutout here that's not cut out. Now for this particular process it doesn't matter but what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this offset letter just to show you if you encounter a problem at any time this could be one of the reasons why. So I've selected this, it's all one object. If I right click and choose ungroup you'll see now that there's a bounding box around this little tiny, what will be a cutout, you would weed this out, and the actual outside letter. If I click on this little cutout, that's on top, because that has selected. If I had clicked this little cutout and it had selected the big outside letter, then I would have to select the big outside letter and send it to the back. But in this particular instance, this little cutout section is on top. So I'm going to select both. I'm going to come down again. I'm still on the edit tab and I'm going to come to subtract. And that's basically just going to punch that 
little bit out of it. So now when I line these two up again, so again, I'm going to select the black, right click and bring it to the front. I'm going to select both and just center them vertically and horizontally. So effectively, I've got two solid letter E's and that's how I did the frame. I'm going to put that on one side. Now, I'm just going to select the black letter again and duplicate it and show you an alternative way. So again, I'm starting with the original black letter. I'm going to come to the offset icon. I'm going to choose the same spacing, 0.12, outward bevel, leave as is, and make sure this is unselected and say OK. Again, I'm going to select the offset. I'm going to fill it with pink again, and you can see it's on top. So while it's on top, I'm going to right click, arrange and send to back. Now it shouldn't matter that that little bit is in there for the next bit, but if there's a problem subtracting these two from each other, then you would do what I've just shown you here, okay? So I've got a solid letter E and I've got the original E. I'm just going to duplicate that black letter because I'm going to need that again in a minute. So I've got these two now, which I'm going to select and I'm going to say subtract. And that's punched the black section from the offset. So this is a frame now. So this would cut differently to this. So if you cut these two pieces of vinyl, this one would cut like this. It would all be solid in the middle. This one, it would follow this outline all the way around and then it would follow this inner line all the way around. So you'd have a skinny frame and that then enables you to layer up your original. I'll just center them both vertically and horizontally. So you get the same effect when you apply them to your project. The only difference is this one on the right is a double layer. So this would be a solid piece of vinyl and that piece of vinyl would go on top of it. This one would look the same when it was applied to your project, but this would be hollow here in the middle, and this one will sit in it. I'm just gonna center them both, okay? So they look the same, but they're made slightly different. So let's just bring it down here. Now, how do you line them up? Well, that's simple. You come over here, you grab yourself a basic shape. I generally like to use a square. You can use anything you want. It doesn't really matter. Again, just for the process of the video, I'm going to fill it in blue and I'm going to create a duplicate. I'm going to line these two up so they align, say, on the bottom or on the top. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to right click and make them a group so they become one item when I select them. In fact, I'm going to change the colour to pink to match the outline, so you'll, you'll get more of an idea. So these are now a group. I'm going to duplicate them, and I'm going to fill them with black. And I'm going to layer these two up directly on top of each other. So the way that you would cut these two pieces now is you would select the black boxes, hold your shift key down and select the black letter E, right click and make them a group. So that's what you've got. And then you would do the same with this. You'd select your pink boxes and your pink E and you would right click and group. So, and you would do exactly the same if you were doing it you know, with two solid pieces. It depends what you're putting it on. Like I say, I was putting mine in a frame, so it didn't matter to me that this was all solid and I layered this up on top. But if you're putting it on clothing, you may prefer to have a hollow section so that the outer or the top layer can sit within, okay? I'm just gonna get rid of that one for now. So when you go to cut this, this would cut as one and this would cut as another. And then if you watch the video where I made the frame, I then showed you how you layered these two up in that video. Okay, so although I was layering them and there were two solid sections of vinyl, you layer them exactly the same using these alignment boxes. So that's one way. Now, let's say you have a letter that's got holes in the middle. So let's choose a B and we'll drag it out. 
me just move this one over to one side. Just for the process of the video, I'm going to fill it in with black. I'm going to come to the offset. I'm going to use all the same spacing, but if you have this box ticked, now because this is a bit more round, you can, you can decide whether you want to use bevel or round, okay? But if you have this box ticked and you say okay, the only thing you'll get is a solid shape. And if you want the outline to go around these holes in the middle, that's why you have to tick that box. So I'll get rid of that. I'll select the original letter. We'll come to offset. I'll untick that box. I'll leave it on bevel for now and let's see how it looks. The offset will be on top. So again, I'll fill it with pink so that you can see it. So there it is. You can see the black cut lines, so the machine will cut this out, but sometimes if you're going to do the subtract method or if you're going to maybe do a weld of some description, you might get an error message because these two little bits here might, might not be where they should be, okay? So let's just undo that so it's back on top. So I'm going to select it, right click and send it to the back because to subtract the black section from the pink section, the smaller section has to be on top, okay? So if I, I'm just gonna duplicate the black section again, because the black section will disappear when I do the subtract here. So I'm gonna select both of these, I'm gonna to come to subtract, there's my frame, and here is my letter that's going to sit inside. So if I right click and bring this to the front, select both and align them centrally and vertically, you can see now that the black layer will sit inside that pink frame. Again, I'm just going to choose a square, I'm just going to size it down, it doesn't really matter what size you use. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm just going to select them both and align them up along the bottom of the top. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to fill one set with pink and while they're selected, I'm going to group them. And I'm just going to change the outline to pink as well, just so it makes it easier to see. I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to fill them with black and I'm going to make the outline black as well. I'm going to select them both line those up centrally and vertically on top of each other and then I'm going to left click on the, on the pair of black boxes, hold my shift key down, select my black letter B and while I've got everything selected I'm going to group them. I'm going to do the same with these, select them all, right click and group them. So again they're now a group and they're a group and if I select them all and line them up centrally and vertically. I just have to adjust that ever so slightly. That is how they will line up. So you'd cut them separately with their little boxes and then like I say I'll put a link at the end of this video referring to the letter E that I did in the 3D frame and in that video I show you how to apply one piece of vinyl on top of the other using these alignment boxes. So I hope that helps. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.